Alright, I have been wanting to actually sit down and do a full playthrough of this game for a long time now, but only after like five years am I finally at a point where I can do this. Hey everybody, we're going to be playing The Lost Legends of Redwall, The Scout, today. And for those of you who are really, really astute and long-time fans may have actually known, I've played this on my channel in the past. I did a stream of this, and I made it a couple of hours through, but... Then I stopped, because I couldn't get it to work properly on my PC after that. And on my new laptop, it didn't work at all either. But now on my new PC, we should hopefully have it up and ready. So, without further ado, my next Let's Play of The Lost Legends of Redwall the Scout is going to start now. I have no idea what all this game is going to entail. I just know it's a game about Redwall, which is one of my favorite book series. So, we're doing it. This game, as far as I can tell, has no affiliation with the actual uh, owners of the Redwall brand. Brian Jakes, the author, has passed away uh, several years back. So I'm not sure who actually is in control of the Redwall brand now. So this is not in any way affiliated, as far as I can tell. But at the very least, this should be interesting. So, I know the original stream I did of this is completely gone now, lost forever, because I didn't realize Twitch automatically deleted streams back then, and that was before I was dual streaming. But I had one me measly Twitch highlight that came from it. But now, we should hopefully be able to experience the game in its entirety. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what the heck Redwall is, basically, it's a series of kids' uh, books that revolve around a bunch of, like, animals that live in an abbey called Redwall. Basically during medieval times. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings, but with mice and other animals. It, it's a it's a very enjoyable uh, set of stories, for sure. So, let's start a new game. If you start a new game, your current game progress will be overwritten. Yeah, that's fine. I literally just started a new game just to see if it actually would run properly on my new machine. And it does, and there's no reason it shouldn't. So, here we go. I really like the art style in this game, and I also really like the music from what I've seen so far. So, yep, as you can see, it's all about them mice. Mid summer is only two days hence. I don't see how you can possibly be ready, Brother Jethro. Fear not, old friend. Formal assures me that the stage will be ready this evening, and I've never known him to be wrong. Everything will be quite all right. Cutting things close doesn't suit me. You know that. I'm a planner. I'm a philosopher. This whole business has my humors out of balance. There they are, Brother Wilport. You just let me fret about the play, and you make sure the feast is perfect. That's more important. I'm especially looking forward to that hot root sun salad. Oh, yes. If this yes, game doesn't have the copious yes, food descriptions that the books had, I don't want to play was it. I concerned that the cheese and onion hogs bake was too heavy to follow the brazier leaks. Hogs bake? I thought they were, see, like, pescatarians. There's far more need for your talents in the kitchen than out here. Let your old friend do what he's good at. Making a fool of himself. <laughs> oh, my. I like the almost, like, painting well, quality of these I'll CGs. My leave, but... Please try to keep on schedule. You know how I I also like the voice me. acting. Indeed I do. I like the English accents. Sister Edelweiss, I trust William won't perish before he has a chance to taste the good friar's blackberry crumble. Mm. Oi now, it's hard to say. It is surely a bit of blackwater fever. Now I can't remedy with some nettles and wart, but that foul temper, nail, that just might be fatal. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> I forgot no? this mouse is basically Boy, on his deathbed. Okay. Then why in the sharp tongue when I ask for that filthy old wind glass? And they're all just the like, he might die. Oh well. With they, were, <laughs> they were made of sterner stuff in the, the Middle Ages. For all the fuss it's bearing. Sorry, Grandfather, I, um, found it in the library. Your nail. 
You drink her, says Tonic, and you'll be out storming that forest with all them's dibbons afore a moon's turned her face this way. <laughs> I wonder if anyone knows what the mole is saying but me. No need to wait, lads. Carry on, and I'll be there shortly. Thank you for your legendary healing skills, sister. As always, we are in your debt. We? Oh, <laughs> I say it's just you who be so annoyed. <laughs> The moles talk weird. You'll get used to it. Oh, Maybe. I haven't seen this in ages. And such perfect timing, dear boy. Do you know who this wig glass belonged to, William? Honest truth. I just thought it was another trinket you'd packed away for no good reason. Trinket? Badger waffles. Badger waffles? <laughs> one of the trusty tools carried by the Lilygrove Scout Corps. Back when Clooney the Scourge, that wretched pirate, laid siege to Red Clooney War wasn't Abbey. a pirate specifically. And it so happens that this very thing has a role to play in the story we'll be telling for the Abbot's celebration. I've written a play to share one of my lost legends with all of Red War. <laughs> Hence the name. Of course, everyone knows about Matthias and Constance and... Basil Stag here. Legendary characters. But few know about the trio of brave woodlanders from Lilygrove who played a crucial role in those events. I don't think they did. Have you ever heard of Liam or Sophia Rivermouse? No, but um, I don't suppose you could be telling me the story since I'm bedridden and ailing <laughs> and might not live to see the play. Please? They are very calm about the fact that this guy ah, might see, die. Well, to begin, ah, yes, initiation. T'was a frozen evening in midwinter. The sky was clear but for a loosely bound fleet of easterly clouds that wore the light of twilight and had earlier that day dusted the hollow of the weathered oaks with snow. A frosty breeze stirred the heavy locks of the cypresses went to needles, and two mice warmed their paws against the January chill. They actually mentioned the January, wow. Young, ambitious, and betrothed. Ooh. Both had trained hard to join the ranks of the Lilligrove Scout Corps, a rather storied group of woodland rangers who kept safe the lands betwixt Mossflower Country and the Mountain Warrens. The one had graduated that week prior, and now it was time for the other to prove their mettle. Once initiated, they planned to wed. But that was not to be. Not yet, anyway. Initiation night. It's finally happening. Well, we've planned so long for this. And now that it's here, I'm not sure I'm ready. I feel the same way. I haven't the faintest notion of what comes next. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm frightening. <laughs> Alas, I am late. I hope you'll pardon me, mate. The fiery ring of devastation needed to be refilled. What is that? <laughs> I trust neither of you caught a shiver. I was sick with the wretch for my initiation. <laughs> Didn't make a bit of difference, though. A scout needs to be ready. No matter the situation. I don't care if you're about to die so, of cancer. You have to do scouting. Is in the dock this fine winter evening. <laughs> so I remember this. You get to play your choice to play either as Liam or Sophia. Basically, do you want to play as the male character or the female character? I'm a guy, so I always play the male character. We're playing as Liam. That would be me. And I'm not about to wretch. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> Quite sure, are you? Sophia, I trust you didn't tell our initiate about the adder's eggs. What the heck, bruh? Not a peep, sir. The secret is safe with me. It makes me a proud mouse to see youngsters like yourself continuing with the Scout Corps. In order to become a full member of the Lily Grove Scout Corps, you must complete a series of tests to prove you've got the metal. These are the things you've been training for for the last several moons, so... I don't expect any surprises. Okay. I'm so excited for you to finally join us as a fully-fledged scout, Liam. Oh, and guess what? Coyle's going to let me oversee your trials myself. Captain Robin thought I'd be too biased to be the best judge of your skills, but I assured him I've never gone easy on you before. 
Nor will I start tonight. If I fail, we don't get to be married. We'll start by heading to a nearby Seems like a conflict of interest. <laughs> it's treacherous, but nothing you can't handle. Plus, I'll be there to guide you. You'll do great. I know it. Oh, and before we go, take this. A proper scout's got to have an adventurer's journal. Oh boy. Follow Sophia, and you can view your objections with the D-pad. Alright, even though this is like top of the line... It's like top of the line computer, and what is with this lighting? Like if I, depending on where I change, I get like all of a sudden my my clothes and my fur is matted with like burned coal. Oh dear, I seem to have burned the burgers <laughs> before this initiation, and now I'm just covered in the remnants of charcoal briquettes. <laughs> Great job, Liam. Oh yeah, if you move in snow, it's the frame rate apparently drops to half its speed. All right. It's okay. I don't need a consistent frame rate. I mean, I play N64 games all the time. Hey, bro. What are you lollygagging around here for, initiate? Don't you want to be a scout? There's work to be done. Well, I was just weirded out by the strange use of lighting. Like, see? Perfect light, like, fine lighting here. But then if we get close to the fire... Are those supposed to be, like, shadows? Okay, I feel like... I get it. Lighting's hard to do, but... All right. Uh, whatever. Ooh, can we jump in the river? <laughs> Are you sure that's what happened? <laughs> oh, so because the whole thing is being told by brother Jeffro, if we do something stupid, we can just assume that Jeffro is trolling his grandson. <laughs> and it's like, that actually didn't happen. Interesting. All right, well, <laughs> yeah, this... This is kind of how I remember it. So again, I have played the first hour or so of this game. So, oh, see? See? It's not like Shadow of the Colossus. You can actually climb up the rocks nearby. This might make us clip out of bounds. I don't know, though. I also don't know if we have a health bar. Obviously, if you jump in the freezing river, you're going to die. Oh, never mind. There's the invisible walls. Darn it. What, Geronimo? Nah, it's okay. Woodland, woodland critters can survive higher falls proportionally to their body size compared to humans. So yeah, this is kind of like an interquel that takes place during the events of the first Redwall story, I guess? They say- they made mention of Clooney the Scourge, the first main villain, but I'm not sure if we'll be encountering him. Hold on! I thought you were sticking around to oversee me! I am, but you've got to complete them on your own. I'll be around to help, even if you can't see me. Here we go! All you've got to do is follow the cave to reach each of your tasks. Okay, even if the graphics aren't- Perfect. And there's some graphical issues and some frame rate issues. I still really like the music and the voice acting. And again, I'm a sucker for Redwall, so. Plus, again, it, I don't need, like, the hyper realistic graphics. I prefer them to be stylized. It is a little slow, though. Ready to start? For your first trial, you've got to figure out how to get across this gap. If I were you, I'd try using my trusty slingshot. Oh, we have a slingshot to begin with. Hold left trigger to aim the slingshot. Aw, oh, yeah! Great Boom. shot, Liam. Oh, you've always had a knack for the slingshot. Now, continue up ahead for the next trial. All right. It wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, I'm not nervous at all. You've got this, Liam. Your Sophia believes in you. I'm still not believing that they've got the chemistry to pull off the romantic couple, I gotta say. But, you know, maybe they're just keeping it professional for the sake of the scout exam. What happens if we jump in the river? And, like, we die in front of our betrothed? Oh, wait, it, I know what would happen. We'd just be trolling the grandson, William. Okay, I, I don't know why I couldn't just run through that since you run on all fours, but... Oh, well. Ooh, a ladder. Okay, so this is like Red Wall Zelda. This is going to be pretty good. Ready for your next trial? You bet. You've got to identify which flag your scent is passing over. But, Sophia, there's no wind in this cave, is there? Can't you feel the cool draft, Liam? Or is your fur that much thicker than mine? As you know, scent travels on the wind, and wind is just about everywhere, even in these caves. If you pay close attention, 
you'll be able to sense the wind's motion all around I you. like the echo it effect they have. You can see it. it makes it sound Watch like the they're actually the talking in the middle of the cave. Scent, and you'll never be caught unaware by your enemies. But ignore it, and anyone might come tracking you. Okay, which flag does your scent touch? Well, judging by the pink and blue vapor coming off of me, it would be the pink flag. That's it! Good pick! While out in the wild, be sure to watch where your scent is being carried. Making sure your scent doesn't drift into the nose of a foe could be the difference between life or death. I'll have now, to keep that in mind. Now, across that ledge should help you cross this ravine. But you didn't hear that from me. You're already ruining the exam. I'm going to have to take it a second time and pay the additional $100. Alright. Yeah. Okay, that's a weird shimmy animation. This looks like one of those, like, McDonald's toys that would come with the Happy Meal that does one thing. Only in video game form. Alright, we did it. At least we can run. Face the wall while next to it and press A to scramble. Oh! Just like a real uh, mouse would do. Oh, how wonderful. Uh, is there a way to... Uh, I pressed left trigger and... Oh, so this is how you view your scent and which way it's going. Okay, I kind of wish you didn't have to wait for five seconds standing still before you do that. But that's okay. For, at least for now. Are there, I assume there are going to be enemies in this game. I don't know if it's going to end up being like a Zelda game where we can defeat the enemies, or if it's going to be more of a stealth game where we got to stay away For from the enemies. For this next task, you'll need to determine which of the doors have a rat hidden behind them. A fake rat, that is. And avoid them. Only one of the doors is free of any intruder. That's the one you've got to pick. Okay. Find the rat, huh? Shouldn't be too difficult. Just got to use my sniffer. Assuming that the fake rat has a real scent. Press RB for active scent. Aha! Oh, wow. It's like Tiger Vision from Tiger Woods Golf. We can see through stuff. All right. So those are all the fake rats. Aha! We know the real door. I don't I don't remember this in when I played it the first time. Also, why is this just hovering here? Oh, here's our, uh, our notebook. Pass the scout trials, follow the cave path at each task. And we become a scout by passing the initiation trials and attending the celebration feast. That's going to be awesome. Oh, we even have a little map. Okay, this really reminds me of the maps that are were from that were any all of the Redwall books. Like at the beginning of the book, they have like an actual detailed map of the like area in which the book takes place, which I always thought was really cool. Progress. We don't have any lore. Oh, we can collect jiggies apparently. Cool. Along with memoirs, jam jars. I like jam. I'm making jam. Scents and critters. We also apparently already have all the memoirs. As well as upgrades. There are free acts. I'm not sure if each act is its own Steam game or if this game generally has actually has free acts. I don't know. We have the mouse scent, the rat scent, the onion scent, the apple scent, carrot, potato, pickle, rosemary, fish, mushroom, beet, hot root. Along with Liam, it's Sophia, and radishes. I don't know why radishes are below the other ones. And smoke. Okay. Um, I just gotta say, there were never pickles in Redwall. That's not, like, a vegetable that would be common to see in the books. So, they're taking some creative liberties, I guess. Alright, here we go. This is the door we gotta take. Aha! No rat hiding here. Fantastic job, Liam. I'm glad I haven't lost you to the rats yet. Good job. If we go back now, because we already passed this, what happens if we open up this door? Ah, oops. Wrong door. Be sure to use your nose. Use it right, and it will serve you like a second set of eyes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can see the rat. It, is that, like, literally, like, <laughs> a mechanical rat? They didn't really have mechanics in the red wall area. Climb up here. I like the cave. I like the change of setting, because most of the Redwall books just take place almost entirely in Redwall or the Moss Flower countryside. Oh. Um, um, Are um. you sure that's what happened? <laughs> Why do you doubt me? I thought I could actually long jump like in Mario 64. Apparently not. Liam's like, I'm pretty acrobatic. I could do this. It's like, Liam, you're supposed to use your slingshot again. 
It like auto homes in on you when you aim close enough, which I kind of like that. You still have to aim, but it's not stupid precise. Cool, cool. All of those scents are going up through the, the top. <laughs> Makes sense. Here we'll be making use of our nose once again. Cool. First. I want you to focus on those peppers there. Mm -mm. Learn the scent and commit it to memory. Spicy with a hint of earth, altogether a fair bit pungent. I'd suggest logging all the scents you learn in your scout journal. Never know when you may need to sniff out the difference between a mole and a mushroom. How? I feel like even I could do that, and I don't have nearly as fine-tuned a scent as you do. Enter scent mode. To learn scents, press X near a scent while at many objects. Well done. There we go. Hold that scent in your mind, and remember, it's written in your journal if you need a refresher. Now, we know sniffing can help us see the unseen, but it can also help us identify different scents in the air. So, pick out the candle that smells like chili peppers. Okay, we learned the scent. Chili pepper. Oh, interesting. So, like, if we go up here in scent mode, we can see this is, like, a red scent, and it's moving up there. So, if we see, like, a red scent, we'll know that's chili peppers. Interesting. So, like, this candle right here, it's kind of got a little... It's got a little bit of that drifting off of it. I kind of want... Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Jack, jump over the candlestick! Alright, I guess not. So now we have the chili pepper in our scent somewhere? Yes, we do. Spicy 2, vegetable 1. Again, we didn't really have chili peppers in the Red Wall world either, but I, I guess this isn't moss flower country, so maybe they have slightly different vegetation. I'll, I'll allow it. Oh yeah, what are we actually supposed to do, though? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, nope, nope, we, um, oh. There we go. Hey, no cheating, Liam. You've got to finish this trial before moving on to the next one. But it wouldn't let me examine the candle. I found the candle that smells like chili peppers. It just wouldn't let me examine it. Oh, now it does. There, okay, that wasn't there before. Probably might as well let us skip the rest of the trials. You're an expert already. Well, I owe my success to my instructor, Miss Sophia. You'll need to once again shimmy along the wall to reach the final trial. Uh, but be careful. This one's got a twist. This is a very chaste romantic relationship right here. I would not be able to tell that they, like, were going to be married to each other. But then again, that's also kind of been Redwall shtick. You very rarely got actual, like, romance in the Redwall books. Because Brian Jakes knew his demographic was, generally speaking, little boys. Who don't really like romance all that much. Okay. Um, this is a weird... So we gotta pull the... I don't know how I, like, changed the direction of the box ever so slightly. That's a little weird. But now it's going to make it a bit more of a pain to actually push it towards the corner. Oh, never mind. There we go. Shimmy, shimmy, Jimmy. Shimmy, Jimmy. Wait for me, dearest. I'll get to you safely. <laughs> so I, I guess, like... If you picked Sophia as your playable character, Liam would be guiding you for the trials. Yeah, that would be interesting. I bet the dialogue would change as a result. Choose wisely. <laughs> What's this about, Soph? Your final trial is a trial of stealth. You've got to use everything you've learned so far. Don't let the rats inside see or smell you. Luckily, us mice are quite small and firm and quite dull. So you should be able to sneak oh, through, no problem. The stereotyping's so back in full swing. This is a red wall game. Without them spotting me, and then I'll finally be a scout. Yes, Liam, you'll be an official protector of Lily Grove. Man, I wish this was. I wish my like programming certifications were as easy to get as this. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, rats, weasels, ferrets, stoats, and foxes are always evil, no exception, and they're usually pretty dumb. Aha. 
Okay, so we've got to make sure our personal scent doesn't carry over to the rats. And then we've also got to make sure the rat doesn't see us. Okay, so we should be able to sneak past him. These rats, oh my gosh, they're like mechanical rats on the move. Okay, yeah, so this this is going to be a stealth game. Okay, we'll just wait for the rat to turn around. You were scented. I was? Choose wisely. Your final So all Okay. So we can get past this first guy pretty easy. Oh wait, hang on. If our scent is moving over towards the left, maybe we oh we gotta sneak past him this way. There yeah, okay, that's it. I failed to stay hidden. There was nobody there, I thought. I need Okay. The annoying thing- Choose wisely. Yes, I, I've seen this before. So I guess- I wish there was a way to stay in st scent mode while also- Uh, uh. Oh, I see. That guy took a look in the doorway. Oh, this is actually somewhat tricky. Okay, so our scent is carrying over that way. So we're gonna wait for him to pass by again. Because he's going to take a look down the... Okay, that should be good. Yeah, because we don't want our scent to... Uh! I was spotted. Shoot. Choose one. In case you guys didn't know, I'm very bad at stealth games. Can we use our slingshot to shoot the rats? Like, it's not stealth. It's still stealth if they're not, around, if they're not alive to catch ya. Okay. Oh, was that? Okay. Maybe that was it then? I just stepped in our food. I ruined our romantic night. Oh, there they are! I win! What? What's well, you failed like eight times, Liam. Congratulations, Liam, our newest member of the Lily Grove Scout Corps. So uh, I passed, and with flying colors. I don't know, Robin. So I, <laughs> <as yet. laughs> so I failed at the end a lot. I'm quite certain I couldn't have done any better myself. If I were carrying a sack full of dibbons, <laughs> congratulations. Dibbons are like baby animals, I must for those who don't know. I was of the mind that you weren't quite ready. It was Captain Robin who pushed for your somewhat expedited initiation. It would appear he saw something in you that I failed to. Until this evening. Thanks, Coil. Ever since you were difficult. <laughs> we're working I for Robin Hood. An excellent scout. And you've never proven me wrong. Thank you, sir. It's an honor. Having completed your training, the official badge and equipment of office are yours to bear. A way glass, a rucksack, and, of course, the blooming lily on your jacket. It brings me great joy and a fair bit of pride to welcome you to the ancient family of the Lily Grove Scout Corps. Oh, I'm so honored. There's one thing you have to do before you can really call yourself a scout. Follow me, Liam. Finally, you'll get to see Hilltop Camp and meet our very own scout chef, Ritsworth. He'll help you with the soup. <laughs> soup? What's soup? <laughs> the scouts are founded on principles of service and fellowship. As such, we crown each new initiate with cooking the scout's supper their first night here. <laughs> to cooking for a family as big as mine, this will be easy. Are you sure about that, William? <laughs> hardly at peace. His soul, which had been sore anxious only hours before, was calm and his animus at rest. Yet, despite a still and restful heart, a frigid wind slowly began to pick up from the south, and the crickets stopped their song. Unknown to Anna and Lilligrove, a black masted ship made landfall in secret. The shadow of a long and iron barbed tail crept up upon the unsuspecting village. Clooney the Scourge! Hilltop Camp. Home of the Lily Grove Scouts. Wow. Your descriptions didn't give this place proper credit. Why don't you pull out your way glass and I'll give you the royal tour. Look around the camp with the way glass. Uh, do I have to, like, right now? Uh, I love how Liam, I love how Liam's like, I'm definitely ready to make the soup. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, 
Last time I played this, I kind of ended right after making the soup. And by making the soup, I mean I misinterpreted their directions. And I thought I had to basically go to the chef and be like, Hey, I'm ready to make the soup. Instead, when I did that, I'm like, Hey, chef, I made the soup. And I literally just made no soup. Everyone had to drink boiling water for dinner. It was, it was terrible. Oh my, look at this. Can I go into scent mode in here? I cannot. Oh. Isn't that waterfall beautiful? There's no movement. You wouldn't guess when it's frozen over, but just up at its source is a hot spring. It's my favorite place at camp to dip my feet, especially after a fierce day of training. Oh, it's a frozen waterfall. Wow. Frozen waterfall. That's impressive. Eh. Down there is our remarkably talented chef, Rootsworth. Honestly, he could be running the kitchens at Redwall if he wanted. But for some reason, he's content to cook for us humble scouts. Not that I'm complaining. You'll be checking in with him after you've collected everything for tonight's suit. Oh, wonderful. Rootsworth, MVP. He fixed my boiling water mess last time. That's the main tent. It's sort of like our very own Great Hall. We use it mostly for hosting guests from neighboring scout groups. We even have little shrew-sized chairs so when members of the Galson come to visit. Oh, no. We don't want to hang out with the communist shrews. No, they're terrible. <laughs> they also argue all the time. <laughs> hey, baby. I see someone real pretty right there. <laughs> uh, what, what else can we, like, stare at? Those tents are where the captains sleep. Since they're in charge of keeping the night fires and beacons roaring, they've pitched their stakes by the firewood store. Yep, makes Poil sense. snores like a badger lord, though. I don't know how Robert gets even a wink of sleep. Hey, it's discriminatory against badgers. It's okay. I love the discrimination in Redwall. It was, it was a, indicative of a simpler time. Those are the scouts overnight When tents. people didn't get offended over everything. We don't always everything. stay in them, but they are surprisingly cozy when we do. Ooh. That there is the lakeside watchtower. It gives you a great view of the camp, but not much else. The actual night watch I've mentioned is at the lookout, but that's, uh, closed for construction tonight. Yeah, so, uh, don't go investigating or anything. Uh-huh. Well, that concludes our tour of Hilltop Camp. Oh, and if you ever come across an odd pile of flat stones, just take a gander through your way glass. Hmm. There may be something interesting to see you wouldn't have otherwise noticed. Now, Liam, Interesting. you've got a soup to cook. Here, Rootsworth gave me this recipe for you to follow. First, you'll need to collect three beets from the garden. Beets, not radishes. He also never but can beets tell you suck. the difference. Second, you'll need a cob of corn, a potato, and an onion, all which you'll find over at the obstacle course. And lastly, a wheel of cheese. Apparently, fraby has got it over by his tent. Ah, <laughs> Fraby. Always with his cheese. They do like the cheese in Red Wall. Knight is making the newest scout run around on a wild goose chase. But don't worry, it's all in good fun. Now, you better get collecting. Oh Aren't boy. You with? Uh, actually, I've got some scout business to attend to. So you'll have to finish preparing the soup on your own. If there's anything you want to talk about before I go, uh, be sure to ask me now. All right, well, uh... So, <laughs> now we go back to my greatest fear, making soup, <laughs> where I screwed up royally last time. I won't do that again. I won't do that again.